Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please uh, smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box under this video. And you can also join my channel, $2.99 per month. <clears throat> welcome to Crystal DC Limitless, Jules Ryland. New members here. Um, if anybody else has recently joined within the past zero days, um, and you don't get a shout out for me, I'll try to get you a shout out, uh, next or tomorrow. Cause for some reason, YouTube is like being very wonky right now. It doesn't want to work. Okay. That's fine. So we'll, I'll check you. I'll check back tomorrow. All right. Anyway, let's get into your reading. Yeah. So if you become a member, you get cool emojis, super awesome badges, the whole nine yards. All right. Let's take a look. All right. So you're starting with the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation coming out virgo in march let's see you also have the chaser okay so yesterday you had the runner right did you have the runner or oh, that might have been on my other channel and you've got sunglasses okay truth coming out virgo somebody's a fear of abandonment chasing after you and whoever this person is, is watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Somebody's really focused on you. And let's take a look and see what this, you know, somebody might be uh, too, having some drinks with a chaser. And then, you know, at some point confessing their feelings. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my gosh, Virgo. So yeah, it could be an Aquarius for some of you, but there is a whole new, a whole new start. Some communication, a lot of it actually. Some good news coming in. There's a risk being taken. Somebody's taking a risk and they're being honest and truthful about taking some leap of faith. Okay. So are they going to take a leap of faith in March maybe? Um, or is there communication about taking a leap of faith in March yeah definitely um, this is travel movement Cupid's arrows someone is in love with you Virgo or just really like crazy and wild about you okay ready to have like some kind of potential new beginning plant some roots or some seeds and have some growth here um, <laughs> some physical too definitely physical passion let's see what else is going on here speak to me spirit okay gemini energy the magician wow so what's the truth someone here wants to like have something new with you here could this be a new person it could be or a new start of some sort in a relationship oh there's king of cups so first court card that's uh cancer scorpio pisces there's a, um, somebody's like, this person is very smitten with you. I have a crush. <laughs> somebody's like a little crush on you. Like, but it's enough to, like, it's enough, like, to try to manifest something new here. There's like a brand new start. All right, Virgo, I'll see you later. <laughs> it's a brand new start. This King of Cups, very nurturing, compassionate, warm, supportive, caring, very intelligent, has high emotional IQ. And um, oh, they're coming in to lay down some magic here, Virgo. Coming in to lay down some mag mag maggots, right? Ew, gross. Coming in to lay down some magic here. Okay. This is something that this person has been thinking about saying to you. Absolutely. There's so much. Like, there's your sword. This is a victory. This person's been kind of like sitting up there on the rock by themselves in a hermit mode keeping to themselves and wanting to have this win, winner, winner, chicken dinner kind of thing. This is like an, an initiating some kind of conversation or, or thinking about how to talk to you about this, but you're going to get clarity. You're going to get truth. And it, it's a revelation. This person is going to reveal to you how they, you know, like if you notice, like the only cup is really the king of cups so it's not so much ex like express emotions but like express their emotions where the king of cups masculine or feminine doesn't often wear their feelings on their sleeve like they don't go around professing their love okay um 
Their love is deep. They're giving me that BG song. How deep is your love? The love is deep. Okay. And sincere and kind and honest and beautiful. This is a nice way to start your reading here, Virgo. Very nice. So you also have the hanged man and the empress. So, wow. I feel like this person is seeing you in a different light. I have no idea what that means, but they're seeing you in a different light. And we'll be chasing. Like, definitely. Are they a little codependent? Yeah. Can't live without you? Yeah. Don't want to lose you? Yeah. So that's showing up here. Like, they're they're ch they're going to be chasing after you like crazy. Let's see. Uh, Libra energy is there. Pisces as well. Okay. So I see this person really just think like they're thinking about in March the financial aspect of things here. So I don't know what that means, but there is this, you know, the seven of pentacles is pretty much like, how can I say, like making plans, like wanting to invest to have this reward, you know, um, tell us more. Wow. Maybe even like a legal marriage or justice of the peace for some, or just um, looking at their taxes or looking at their finances or their money, you know, um, legal issues. What does that mean? Legal issues. Making something right. Fairness. Okay, so... There's something here about living under the same moon. I don't know what that means. Being under the same moon. There's something, there's a connection to the moon. Um, this is Piscean and Libra again, energy. So, trying to get the truth about like f feelings. So like Virgo, if you know who this person is, if you like express your feelings to them, like just simply express your emotions like your deep emotions if you begin to reveal that i feel like this person is going to be um coming your way i don't know if they don't i don't know if they don't know how you feel about them um or won't know until you actually do this so uh, yeah they're kind of telling me like i guess you have to tell someone how you feel because I don't know if they, this person thinks that you just want to be alone. You're not interested. But I, I mean, from their point of view, I do feel like they want to be with you and they have a thing for you and there will be some communication about that. Okay, now we have the King of Wands. Hmm. So it could be, a, uh, there you go, fire sign. They could be showing up in fire energy or maybe you have some fire in your chart somewhere that's most prominent or they also think someone else could be chasing after you or someone else is interested in you and they don't want they don't want to lose the opportunity here with the chaser to be with you you know what i mean they're not sure part of their part of the reason why i feel like this person will be chasing you or has that fear of abandonment is because Either they think or they know that if they don't, somebody else will. Does that make sense? Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. Hmm. And they're like, <laughs> they're kind of like exhausted. <laughs> I feel like they might be exhausted. Now, this, if this is, if this is somebody else who's interested in you, that other person, you could have somebody else chasing you as well. That person's really like broke, busted, and disgusted. Like they are beaten down. Either way, if it's two different people, I, I feel like like this is you, Virgo. You're stable. You're gorgeous. You have money. Whatever amount you have. Like you're, you're okay. You know what I mean? Or they just view you like, oh, you're so luxurious. <laughs> I know. You, you might be just sitting there in your pajamas just, you know eating snacks and watching tv and you haven't brushed your teeth yet i don't know what you're putting out there to the world or what you're actually doing with yourself right now um let me just take a look and see but either way you've got somebody here that is tremendously interested in you and even with the king of wands even if it's just one person they're like going to take the lead here 
because that's what the king of wands does it's like passion fire like ambition mm, this person does not want to be abandoned or left out in the cold by you that's that's the thing they don't want to be they don't want the struggle they've been thinking about this like i said before weighing the options but you're it for them there you go there's the nine of cups like you are a wish come true for them like i always say my john travolta of the tarot right they're settled that's it like they've they've accumulated um enough wins in their life but like it's kind of like if this person is the type of person that always had to like put notches in the belt or on the bedpost like they've got it all they've had it all they've done it all and it's there's nothing it's not fulfilling you know they've always maybe got to the nine of cups and not to the ten and the ten add one more cup and that's the holy grail of love there that's like having that one person and just always you know just always having that one person that knows everything about you and you them and love and support and and just a beautiful blessing maybe having children or family or just having these special uh, key develop key emotional developments in the relationship that are just making beautiful memories you know i feel like this person whoever they are you know as far as court cards either water sign or fire sign but it could be any like you have these aces i mean it, it just feels to me like whoever this person is is going to confess to you and tell you like give you revelation about who like what they want in you and that they want you and that they want to be with you yeah winner winner chicken dinner y'all there you go page of cups for some it might even be apologies um but then there's even this energy of like so much love and communication coming in march and and you also have sunglasses so i feel like this person is just they've just had their eye on you virgo maybe you don't you might not know you might not know who who they are you do have the six of cups so this could be a reunion with someone but for others this could be somebody completely new or two new people virgo you're gonna have mail <laughs> you're gonna have options in march for sure all right so yeah you've got somebody here who's watching but they're hiding and they're kind of like you can't see me <laughs> at least they think but virgo virgo sees everything um this person would be surprised how virgo knows <laughs> the things that they know like deep intuition but this person is very intuitive as well but i kind of feel like um they're watching you with their mind's eye even there's a ton of cups this person oh my goodness and for some they could already be in a relationship but they might be um well they could be doing something they could be ending a relationship or making a decision to end a relationship that they're in because they're they're you're catching their eye in march oh yeah look it's a stressful situation this is kind of like oh been with someone for a really long time perhaps and that's not guess it's okay and then here comes virgo like yeah here comes virgo and this person is like oh my god it's almost like it's a prompt they're giving me the word prompt to to um be done with a relationship that's really no longer working perhaps i mean if it's a marriage that could be the that could be the gist of it as well okay here's the king of swords so the king of swords is all about that mental energy and that communication oh gosh someone's on fire for you yeah could it be a king of swords could it be a king of cups could it be a king of wands absolutely libra gemini aquarius someone's like oh they want to be with you so you, you definitely like i don't know if they're gonna leave i don't know if it's this person or this is just the third person for what the hell are you doing but there is somebody here who you know they they have some kind of a, a relationship and they don't want to they're trying to make a decision they might have been compromising a lot in that relationship but it hasn't really been working but i feel like this person like they're stressing about it because like i said you 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 walked by and then boom that was it okay maybe you know each other through friends or or this is they, this is somebody you knew before and they want to have a reunion with you or maybe somebody went to school like this person is like they they got the hots for you 
The hats, hats, hats. Yes, Virgo. Okay. I know Virgos. I know you, Virgos. I know what you're up to. Let's see. Oh, shit. All right, that's two marriage cards right there. <sighs> Honestly. So this person pretty much, I feel like they're in a relationship of some sort. They're in some kind of relationship. They don't want to be in it. They want to be in it with you. They want to be with you. You're their 11-11. You're their, I'm hearing, home. Maybe you're going to be traveling home. There's something like you're, you're the person they want to be at home with. Whoever it is. You know, it could be one person showing up in these, these different elements. But you're the one that they want to be with. And they can't, yep, they have a new chapter. Start something new with you here, Virgo. So, what? You have quite a reading. I wouldn't even know what to call this at this point. Let's take a look and see how this person feels about you. Like, what their energy, well, what, not so much feelings, but what the message of love is here. Okay, there, you've got self-care. Okay, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay, we had a card drop. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other, Virgo. Okay. You and this person. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Some questions here, Virgo. Of course, Virgo is going to analyze. <laughs> but yeah, there's someone secretly yearning for you here. There's longing. Wow, Virgo. An awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual trance. Waking up to this, for sure. Remember I said, for some reason, it's a second chance. Um, but remember I said the hermit is here? This is like going in and having that, um, reflecting and trying to have that awakening. There's tremendous chemistry here between you and this person. And the attraction you feel to this person is mutual from their end as well. It's mutual. They feel the same way as you do. And there's the apology. Wow, Virgo. Somebody's coming in to apologize either for... What are they coming in to apologize for? I just want to pull a card and find out. What are they? What is this person going to apologize to Virgo for? Oh. Being quiet, keeping secrets, not revealing the truth. Yeah. Yep. The high priest is all about those secrets. It's all about being unhinged. Well, being not unhinged. Why the the hierophant or the high priestess in the reverse is all about being unhinged. To me, anyway, it just that's the message that I was getting. Or being blocked, you know. Um, so I feel like this person they're going to apologize. Also, they're saying for not admitting or just not being real with themselves when the right person comes along if that makes any sense maybe there was a chaser runner dynamic in a relationship here if you know who this person is they also if you don't know them and it's someone new there may be this apology that they know they need to give to another person um for not being open and honest or keeping secrets. Let's see how this person feels about you, Virgo. So obviously, if you know them, this person, I couldn't let you get close to me at the time. Let's see. I wish I could share my good news with you. I know that I crossed the line with you. Hmm. I'm going to make it up to you. I bury my work. I bury myself in work to forget you. That's why you don't hear from me. I feel you leaving me behind, and that's why I'm chasing you. I don't want you to leave me. I hope that you will forgive me one day. So, part of an apology has to do with that. You don't know how hard it was to let you go, Virgo. And sometimes I just stay awake thinking about you. Maybe you left the relationship, Virgo, if you've been with this person. And they just want you, Virgo. I mean, there's there's just nothing else to say about that. They just want to be with you. They just want you. Like, point blank, period. They just, that's it. 
They don't want to be with anybody else. They just want you. Let's see what the chi uh, Chinese sign is here. Uh, you guys, I uploaded a, um, a weekly message over on my Moon Pai Tarot channel. So if you don't know, you can go over and get an extra message there. It's collective, so it's not for any specific sign. But I did call out Virgo, so you never know. Okay, so we've got Year of the Monkey, Year of the Snake, Year of the Rooster. This could be you or your person. Year of the Dragon, Year of the Goat. We have a monkey again. Year of the Pig, Year of the Rabbit, and Year of the Dog. Okay. So keep that in mind. This video is going a little bit short. You know why? Because the, the message was so direct. I mean, it was, the messages were just so direct. Okay, someone is 33. We've got JT. Now that's some, that could be somebody, and JW. That could be somebody's initial, um, or TJ, or just separate, J and a T. Someone's born in October. We have someone's 54. Someone's born in 81, so we get the letter Q. Someone's born in August, so we have an August Virgo here. Um, September 2nd, someone is 30, someone is 60. Yikes, 39. Someone's name is Lee, L-I. Um, someone's in Illinois. We have the uh, August, no, September 20. Okay, or you might be 20. Someone's born at 66. We have the letter R. Or I heard Riley, too. Um, there's someone opening a jar right now. <laughs> someone's in Arizona. Long Island. Someone's in Texas. Um, okay, we've got the letter A again. And the letter D. Someone's a doctor or physician. Doctor of what? Doctor Love? Doctor Feel Good? <laughs> Is somebody a Doctor Feel Good? Um, did I say 1968? I don't know, but there you go. That's here, the monkey. Um, give me a second now. Give me a sec. Got a bunch of stuff coming out. Okay. September 17th, 1979. Yes, 17. And the letter E. Dre? Somebody's name is Dre? Eric, I'm picking up Eric. Ed, Edward. Okay, someone is 41. September 10th, the letter Y. Someone's name starts with a Y. Yasmin or Yasmin. Okay, letter O. O is always here. The letter F, Frank. Um, Farah, someone's name might be Farah or Fala, not Phallus. What, what are you thinking? Get your mind out of there. Okay, somebody just had something going. So there's something going on with somebody's ear, their ear. Like I don't know, there might be an ear infection, or you get your ears done, or your ears are clogged. There's something going on with somebody's ear. I'm hearing, and um, oh, uh, oh. Okay, that's strange. They're saying area, the area square footage is 10, and now they're saying 17. I don't know what that means. I, the area, the square feet, square footage, square inches, I don't know. It's 10, and then they're giving me 17. Okay, so now, all right. So there's a their phone number. Oh, also something significant happened in 2017. And also they're giving me 2010 2010. So between 10, 2010 and 2017, something major happened. Um, they're giving me an area code 54230. Oh, no, that's a zip code. Um, and, and now I'm getting phone number 1860. Um, I'm getting 1068. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are following me on Instagram. Please go follow me over there. House O Virgo. Just go to my link tree. Um, 7917 for like a phone number. I can't believe how fast this reading went. Is this real life? Why did it go so fast? Okay, so we have double Sagittarius and Leo showing up here. 
And we have double Taurus and Capricorn showing up here. And Taurus again, Libra, and Cancer. Okay, so these might be the signs that are significant to you. All right, let's see what your charms are. Charming. Oh, you have a music symbol. Okay, there's a music attachment to one of my Virgos here. Music is very significant. There you go. So it's an attachment to you or it's connected to you in some way. Music, the music symbol. What is that, a clef? Or something like that. Okay, you also have a, a mirror. Okay. Isn't that like from Snow White and the Wicked Witch? Or... Get. That was so such an old fable. I can't even remember. Snow White. Didn't she have like a mirror and an apple? Yeah, anyway. Something here to do with a mirror. So you have a connection to mirrors. Maybe it's something in your job. There's mirrors at your job. Um, maybe you're looking in the mirror right now. Maybe you're washing your face as you're listening to this or brushing your teeth. Doing something with the mirror. Okay. I don't know. Maybe you're popping a zit. Who knows, Virgo. And one more. I just want to get this. Okay. So you have um, top dog. You have a little doggy bowl. Okay, Virgo. Little doggy bowl. Connection to a doggy. Right, Virgo? Go see your dog. Um, hmm. Top dog. Is that a place? Do you go, go there to have drinks? Is that a place you go to? Like a tavern or a place you go? Out drinking, top dog. Um, oh. Um, okay, they just said something to do if you have a dog, your dog's femur. Right? Does, does a dog have a femur? I guess. Um, I'm not a vet. I don't have dog anatomy experience, I guess. I don't know what to, I mean, there's a dog bone. So um, something here with your dog. If you have a dog, you need to, I don't know if you need to feed him or your dog just wants a freaking bone. Oh, and they're also saying you got to throw somebody a bone, Virgo. You've heard me say that before, but there's something here about, okay, somebody else that has a boner for you, but somebody, you have to throw someone a bone because there's someone in your life who's not fully aware about how you feel about them. And Virgos aren't typically the sign that is going to open up to someone and just ra like inadvertently express their feelings because Virgo is just not like that. But if Virgo does express their feelings to someone or any kind of affectionate, intimate words or anything, it's because they're probably really into that person. You know, Virgo just doesn't go around like that. And they're also saying get another zodiac sign. Okay, Capricorn showing up again, yet again. So you might have a connection to Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart somewhere. All right, I'm going to leave that. I know it was quick. At least it felt like it was. I mean, it's only 30 minutes. Usually I go to 45. Should I add more? I'm going to add some more. Let me do some of the Chinese cards. I just feel like that went too fast. So if you want to click off, thanks. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on your way out if you're new. Whoa. Okay. Wow. But if not, here's your bonus. You have romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Oh, March is going to be a very romantic experience and time for you, Virgo. What else do you have? <clears throat> you also have reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Well, isn't that the way? And let's see. Okay. You have communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. That's so awesome for you. I'm going to get a couple more because we like these. All right. Ooh. Okay. Sexuality is here. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Nice. One more for you guys? Do you want one more? All right. 
Wow, good. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. So something you're doing, Virgo, with yourself, or if you've been thinking about doing something different with yourself, they're saying it's time to reinvent the wheel here when it comes to you. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what that means, but doing something different with yourself, reinventing yourself, I mean... Time for a polish is what I'm hearing. I just want to get, give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow, Virgo. And what else? And love spell. Ooh, you're going to be enchanted and bewitched in March. Or you're going to have that effect on somebody else. Okay, let's see. Be patient, Virgo. Oh. There's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius will be significant in March for you. Okay. For those of you who have connections with air signs, yep, they're going to be around. If not, there may be one coming in, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right. So I'm, I'm going to just stop. That's good because we just keep saying the same old thing. So yeah, don't forget, join, become a member. Super awesome if you do. Love seeing all your cute little colorful badges in the chat. And... Um, yeah, don't forget to click like and hit subscribe on the way out. Thank you. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.